Okay, Team Bull, we now move on to our next Fatal 4-Way matchup. Our last matchup of this set on the road. And this one, once again, momentum is on the line. But not just that. This really is a sort of a time of looking for the definite edge. But I know that Austin, he'll be looking for that. But I know, of course, he stated it before. He wants to have a clean cut matchup with the Arbiter at the aftermath. He stated it before, and there have been fears by, of course, not just Austin, but by Arbiter as well. The concerns that is Ben Hopkins and his Money in the Bank briefcase. Austin Yu has, um, he's going to have eyes in the back of his head for this one, given the fact that, of course, he recently had a hell of a matchup with Ben Hopkins. A hell of a matchup on the road with Ben Hopkins, oh, on the road, on melee, I should say, with Ben Hopkins. Um, but of course, an expressive Less of concern was made about Ben's money in the bank contract. And that Ben, he seems to be desperate in many ways to really, in quite a lot of ways, spit on the requests of Austin and Arbiter for a clean cut matchup. But I don't think Ben would actually go that far. I mean, let's just face facts. Ben is not a complete douchebag. Well, anyway, here is Matthew Herworth. And of course, just a few moments ago, we saw Dark Forge lay a beat down to Jack Stanbridge. And now... Matthew Herb will look to continue the momentum set by his superior. And here's an individual looking for some momentum of his own. The international champion. Laser Ken. Of course earlier, Zavok was unable to score the victory. If Blazer Kim were to score the win here, momentum would be absolute for Blazer Kim. And of course, Blazer Kim was saying earlier he is heeding the words of Lucario. Do not underestimate Zavok. Certain. I'm pretty positive that Laserkin wouldn't underestimate anyone he faced. Laserkin here looking ready as all hell. Can't deny that one. Like I've already said, Blazik is going to need to be in this one because he's got some tough competition to deal with. Matthew Herworth, he can be vicious, he can be aggressive, and he can be sometimes without care. Austin Yu has. We know the lengths he'll go to sometimes to win a match, throwing his own body on the line. And just the amount, but he, the amount of damage that he can take is unparalleled. But if it was to be compared with anyone when it comes to taking damage and delivering pain, it's this man. Dasan! Dasan! 
Hassan. He will challenge. He will take on Bob in the Monsters Ball. In a match that Dasad is dedicating to the memory of his fallen leader, the leader of Coopism. And of course, Bowser. Of course, Bowser was actually the only Coopist to have been successful at Golden Ambitions. The irony is unbelievable. No other Koopas won that night. The sun. You know. But there's no denying how vicious, how tough, and how aggressive the sun could be. Of course, you go back to Hyperlink. Nearly a year and a half ago. When, um... When Dasan and Austin Yu has collided for the CXWI World Title. You people voted in Austin into that matchup. And what a matchup it turned to be. The Richmond Coliseum would see its hometown hero pick up his first world title. Ever since he lost it to Filmin, he's been on the quest for that second world title. Nicely done there. Oh man! That was impressive. A shot there. Oh man! Backbreaker there by Austin Yu has. Austin Yu has. Test the strength with Matthew, of course Austin wins. Now, interestingly, Matthew and Austin are around the same weight. Austin around the 271 mark. Matthew around the 265 mark. Blaze Kid 210. Dasan 368. See Dasan there swinging crazy with that pipe and swings at Matthew. Robbers them in mid air! I don't know why I said it like that. Air! Mid air! God, this is to sound really racist. Check out Austin! Drilling him head first. And look at this right now. Triangle choke applied. Now, oh, look out. It's Austin in there. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dasan has been pinned before, Aust Austin being the first to pin him. One, and of course, two. Ben, he's managed to pin Dasan, Tails has pinned Dasan. One thing Dasan hasn't done, though, is tap out. But of course, not only will Dasan be looking for momentum here, he'll be looking to... Oh! Impaler! It's... Oh! Well, oh, there, Dasan, maybe he would have been caught by the Impaler again. Of course, that was the move, but put him down in the world title matchup. A moment that is still widely considered to be CXWI's greatest moment. Oh! Gets out that one of the Hurricane Rider there from the top by Dasan. But anyway, as I was saying about Dasad, he's not just looking for momentum here or to build up for his match at the aftermath. He's got to go into the Path of Glory series and hopefully try and score himself a victory to take him back up to the top. He's going to need one following some of his more recent defeats. Of course, in the Path of Glory series, Ben would get a KO win over Dasan. Which ended up knocking Dasan back a few places. He'll be looking to recover from that. In his matchup, whatever it may be. 
Oh my word. Just been busted open. He's going to need stitches on that one. Of course, I just need to check right now if Desan... I don't think he has. No, he hasn't competed twice yet. So if Desan were to compete twice, it would be the benefactor... It would be a massive benefactor to... Um, Warren! Oh! Sam missing that one. It would be a massive benefactor to his, um... To his scoring chances. Although, I have to say, since the start... Well, on the three shows we've had, no one has had two matches and won both of them. I think if you were to win both your matches, depending on how you won them... He's wigging this on that one, and a spear by Austin! Takes down Matthew! Neckbreaker by Blazerkid! Of course, Blazerkid and Austin met on the, um, the live show in Hyrule. On the, uh, just a few days after the, um, Remembrance Ceremony. To those that were lost in the conflict with Coopism. And also to honour those that survived and fought against Coopism. One of those honoured was Lucario as a survivor. So you look at the side here. Force choke slab. And now a triangle choke applied and now the side. I think he's about to flip. <clears throat> Out of the rig goes Austin Yu has. Take a look at this, a bear hug applied. A look at Austin maneuvering his way around the apron and it coming! He gets Blazer Kid on that one, he didn't get who he was looking for, but hey! Now Austin, he'll hit anyone and say, I meant to do that. He probably unintentionally hit the referee and then claim, I meant to do that. It's a bit like Mr. It's a bit like Mr. Anderson. Whenever he misses the microphone, he then goes, "That was intentional." One, two. See, in Agalog, there's also a cover being made. Didn't see which one of them was on the cover, but one, two. Let me stop there and check out Austin. That's that strength and athleticism. That Austin possesses. But he was able to press the sun up there. And to sun 368 pounds. Yeah, he's put on a bit of weight since the last time we weighed him. Oh shit. Nicely done there. And look at this. Laser Kid feeling confident. But he gets suplexed to the outside there by Austin. A shot right there. Knocking Austin off of the apron. Just leaving Desan and Matthew in the rig. And I think that's the last place Matthew wants to be. In the rig with a monster like Desan. Of course recently there have been talks about the Dark, the dark Society's possible pact with the European Union. Uh, but of course, Dark Forge said that the European Union need to prove that they are worth Dark Forge's time. They're going to try and do that by scoring their vic by scoring a victory at the aftermath. Of course, against the Brothers of the Heart, U2 and Tails. Hardcore rules in that one. See now, Austin! Vision to Anarchy! Stopped there. Immediately by Blazer Kid. Blazer Kid down. Nice! We've seen him do that a few times. But look at the sun here. And the sun, he is that powerhouse person who could just rip you to shreds. I mean, 
Oh, nicely done there. Now cover it by Matthew following the ball. Oh, my word. If Matthew pinned Austin. Headlines all over the world on that one. And as I was saying to Saad, and there's one person I would compare him to in terms of his savagery. I'd have to say that's Brock Lesnar. I mean, to Saad, he'll just tear you to shreds and not give a fuck. Exactly like Brock Lesnar. I mean, to Saad, he's an individual that takes glee in hurting people. Bear hug applied. Look at this right now. Whoa! Suplex to the outside. But you know, in many ways. Oh, nicely done there. And look at Austin. Matthew gets out of that one. To be caught with the backslide. Never a nice feeling of power bomb. And again, the Saad misses that springboard drop kick. He's been trying to hit that all match long and he hasn't hit it yet. An uppercut. And there he hits it that time. Check this out. Oh man, Tombstone on the outside. And now, oh boy, it's all to Saad's game now. Another Tombstone on the inside to Blazer Kid and Matthew. He gets thrown out. And he's like, oh! Matthew there moves out of the way. Uh, that didn't really follow up that well. He gets slammed. And now look at this in the ring. Death warrant by Austin. Blazy gets straight back up from it. There's another one. He doesn't get straight back up that time. Cover. One, two. Stops there by Dasan. Oh, a low blow there. Nicely done there, but... Austin, I'd try and look behind you if I were you. Because Matthew! Oh, man. Landed it there. And look at that. The saw that tried to fly in. Matthew moving out of the way. Laser Kim with a shot there from behind. Knocking. Matthew to the outs. Uh, hug. Ouch. See now. Look at this right now. The sun. Tombstone. And that's... Oh! The sun there lands that kick as Matthew was just about to go over. And that's One, left him out. Two, Austin's out. Three, Blaziken is out of it. The sun picks up the win. And the sun... Certainly sending a strong message to Bob. A very strong message to Bob. And take a look at this. Here was how that tombstone pile driver. And then Desan was just trying to focus to Matthew, who was looking to get to the outside, and he just gets 
kick strike to the out the oh, what a moment! Hey! Cut the replay! Cut the replay! Ben is attacking Austin! Ben Hopkins! Ben Hopkins! Oh, I'm Shot that! Ben now on this assault on Austin, you has! What the heck is he? Oh, and look at this now, and oh dear God, descent to madness on the trash can. Jesus Christ! And again, there, descent to madness. And then Hopkins. Playing the assault again on the wall stand. And now, oh shit. Oh, thrown onto the arena floor. Oh, and again. The center madness. And Ben Hopkins right now being ruthless. Oh, you are kidding me. Austin's own move. The Impaler DDT. By Ben Hopkins. Laying him out cold. And Ben Hopkins. Once again. He sticks it to Austin. <laughs> 